Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you all some advice for starting college because I've been getting a lot of questions about this recently and apparently you all think that I know a lot about college, which is only slightly true. I still get confused sometimes. This video is also in collaboration with some people on Instagram. I use the question feature to ask other college students to share some of their advice for starting college. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Before I get into the advice, I just want to say that two years ago when I was going into my freshman year of college, I was probably just as scared as you are right now. Pretty much everyone gets scared and confused when they're just starting college but with time you're gonna learn and figure some of these things out it's all gonna make sense eventually or at least it'll make a little bit more sense the first thing that I want to talk about is a question that I actually got asked in real life while I was at work someone called my work a few days ago and asked this question it has nothing to do with transportation which is the department that I work in but I still answered the question and I think that it was a really great question to ask and the question was how do I not get lost on the first day how do I figure out where my classes are and I told this person to do what I did before my first day of classes and and that is to either figure out where your classes are the day before or figure out where your classes are about an hour or so before they start. College campuses are usually a lot bigger than high school campuses and it can be really easy to get lost. I still get lost at SJSU sometimes. So I would suggest writing down all the buildings that your classes are in and then going around and figuring out where they all are so that you know how to get to them on the first day and you're not frantically running around trying to find these places. The next thing that I want to address is how to meet people because that's a question that I get asked all the time. A lot of you don't know anyone else who's going to the same college as you and that can be a little bit scary. I know that that was something that I was scared about. My number one bit of advice is just to introduce yourself to people. Just try to get to know the people in your classes because the person sitting next to you in history class might end up becoming a lifelong best friend of yours. I would also suggest joining clubs on campus. I joined PRSSA, which is the Public Relations Student Society of America, my first semester of college, and I met a bunch of people through that. I don't know if this is a thing at every college, but at my college, a lot of organizations table during the first few weeks. So that can be a really good way to just see what clubs are available. Just test out a bunch of different clubs, go to a meeting or two, and just figure out if you like it or not and then if you do like it join and you'll probably meet some people with similar interests through that but you can also volunteer this was suggested by my cousin who graduated from college a few years ago just like clubs volunteering is a really great way to find people with similar interests to you so try to look for volunteer opportunities for causes and organizations that you're interested in the next category that i want to talk about is school itself a lot of people are kind of intimidated by the academic aspects of college because i know that a lot of your high school teachers probably scared you guys and said that college was going to be really hard which it is in some ways it's definitely a lot more academically rigorous than high school but the best thing that you can do is work hard and try your best even if you don't get an A or even if you don't get the grade that you wanted to you can still learn a lot just from going to your classes and doing your best the next bit of advice which was suggested on my Instagram was it's normal to struggle and not understand the material don't be afraid to ask the professors and this is absolutely true you're not going to know everything about whatever subject you're studying in class so please ask your professors any questions that you have they're there to help you and they usually do want to help you succeed the next bit of advice which was suggested on Instagram and that I've also mentioned in some previous videos is to look up your syllabus and roadmap for your major ahead of time so that you can plan out your courses effectively. If you want to graduate from college in four years, it's really important that you plan out your class as well and actually take the classes that you need to take to get your degree. And I'm pretty sure that there are advisors at every college that can help you with this. So if you're confused or need help, try to make an appointment with an advisor and then ask them for their advice and ask them what classes you should be taking. And if you want to change your major, also talk to your advisor about that because they can probably help you with that process. The last thing that I want to mention in this category is something that's really helped me out throughout my college career and that is asking upperclassmen for advice. I've learned so much from older students in my program and at times they've helped me out even more than my advisors because they've been through everything before and they've learned a lot along the way. So if your advisors or professors aren't as accessible, definitely talk to older students in your program because they can probably give you some really great advice. The next category that I want to talk about is something that's extremely important that isn't really talked about that much and that I haven't really talked about before and that is your health in college. I haven't been seriously sick at all during my time in college, knock on wood, but if you do get sick, please don't force yourself to go to class and go to the doctor if you think that you need to. Your college probably has some sort of health center probably doctors there that could help you or refer you to somewhere else so definitely take advantage of that and take advantage of any other resources that are on campus that your health is a lot more important than your grades in the end I really didn't take care of my health when I was in high school and that's something that I really regret I went to school when I was really sick and on antibiotics and I probably got a lot of other people sick so don't do what I did in high school stay home if you need to rest and get the treatment that you need to feel better because when I wasn't taking care of my health in high school I was getting sick every few months and it really wasn't a fun experience so don't make the same mistake mistakes that I did. The last thing that I want to mention in this video is just one of the main differences between high school and college because I think that this is something that's important to know going into college and that is that there's going to be a lot less hand-holding. You're going to have to be a lot more independent. Your professors aren't going to hand-hold you through the entire process. At the end of the day, you're responsible for your own success or failures. You have to be a lot more proactive about things. Your professors aren't going to be watching over you in the same way that your teachers watched over you when you were in high school. But that being said, you can absolutely ask for help if you need it. You just have to take that initiative and ask for help. So that's all of the advice I was suggesting 
posted on my Instagram and that I could think of myself. But if you do have any other questions about college, feel free to comment down below or DM me on Instagram or Twitter. People keep apologizing for asking me questions, but it honestly doesn't bother me at all. I really enjoy helping you all out. And it makes me so happy when you all say that my advice has helped you. So good luck to everyone who's starting college soon. I believe in each and every one of you. And I know that if you want to succeed, you will be able to succeed. I love you all so much. Stay awesome. And I'll see all of you very soon with a new video. Goodbye.